All right, uh, I am uh, I am back here again, uh, fresh out of the cellar. These ones are from Windsor, Ontario. Um, I've done an individual uh, video of, of all of these particular ones here. Uh, may or may not be out yet. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how uh, or when I'm going to be releasing these things. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll show them all to you anyway, just for the fun of it. Uh, just in case uh, the uh, that one hasn't been released yet. But this is the NHL alumni uh, bottles that Don did uh, with uh, the help of each one of these uh, retired hockey players. And all proceeds um, go to helping out uh, the NHL uh, players that didn't have those massively huge salaries back in the day and the big uh, pensions that they have now. So some of them are, are uh, um, uh, you know, not making a whole lot of money. Uh, so it, these uh, these guys are uh, good uh, good hockey players, you know. They uh, they're looking after each other, and they, and they certainly do a lot in the community as well. But that was a lot. Uh, the um, the, uh, um, the Robinson one there, um, Larry Robinson. Um, I think his his nickname was Big Bird back in the day when he played for the Montreal Canadiens. He's a big big redheaded guy, a uh, nice guy. I uh, met him twice um in the past and a nice really nice guy we used to some of them we'd have on the airplane others i've met at like these legends a uh, case in point this guy here uh yvonne coinway i've met yvonne a few, quite a few times and really 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 nice nice man a uh, real gentleman another uh montreal canadian and uh and each one um when i go through them individually uh, you'll see I'll, I'll go in depth in, in more of them but you can see like it's the 2019 to 20 edition and uh, and each one here 12 years old like all these numbers have stuff that uh, that mean uh, mean stuff to each one of these uh, these players like number 12 could be uh, let's let's see here I'll show you we can read this through real quick here together Well, there you go um so uh yeah it's uh um you know some some of them would be like three grain might be say three stanley cups you know 40 percent might be the, every one of these numbers that has something to do with it so the the whole bottle is an easter egg you know um but when i go through uh each one of these individually we'll, we'll definitely go through um them in great great depth and great detail uh, and here is Daryl Sittler, another good guy. I met Daryl uh, quite a few times, actually. Um, yeah, nice guy. Um, played for the uh, Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, there's Lanny McDonald. Really nice guy. I had Lanny on my plane actually quite a few times. And even on one of my corporate airplanes, I had him on there. Uh, I was bringing him and... Um, couple guys back from a golf tournament in Alberta um, yeah really nice nice uh, nice nice guy uh, I remember the first time no it was the second time at Lanny I mean um, yeah Lanny uh, we we're at a Legends game and uh, Bobby Hull uh, was there and they're all signing autographs and stuff and I guess Bobby was uh, had, had a few too much to drink and he was uh, putting the moves on my on my wife ahead of me there and um um and uh he uh him and uh Guy Lafleur were sitting together and uh um yeah some of the remarks that he was they were making back to uh to Bobby were were, were pretty funny um um I, I I won't say any of the things that Bobby was saying or anything like that because Bobby's a great guy I, I got to know him fairly well and uh uh, he was just a nice guy. One thing I will say about Bobby, though, is um, no matter what and no matter how many people were waiting in line for an autograph, he would make sure every single solitary person got his signature. If you wanted it, you got it. And he would hold up the bus for an hour or two hours, making sure all of his fans got a signature. And that was Bobby Hull. Real, real, real nice guy. And a, and a really funny guy, too. Um, good sense of humor, 
and like to have his fun. And there is Dave Keon. Um, I've only met, I think I met Dave once, uh, but really, uh, really nice guy. I met most of these guys. I met quite a few hockey players in, in my, uh, my time. I used to play hockey, uh, as well. And, um, and, and I would attend, you know, a lot of games and, uh, and, uh, and a lot of signings and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, and we would have them on our airplanes quite a bit too, you know, taking between charity events or, or even just games, you know, we, we they would charter the airplane and we'd, we'd fly the hockey team somewhere. And, um, and there's Wendell Clark. I think I've only met Wendell once. Um, but, uh, yeah, he's, uh, from the, uh, Toronto Maple Leafs again. And, uh, another one here, Paul Coffey. I'm not sure if I ever met Paul. I know I've met Wayne a few times, uh, Wayne Gretzky, um, and, uh, and Mess Mark Messier and Grant Fuhrer and all those guys. You know, Paul may have been there. Um, maybe, I'm not sure. I'd, I'd have to, I'd have to go back and, 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 uh, and look at, uh, at, um, some of the records that I that I keep about certain certain things and and flight logs and stuff too. You know, if I have certain people on the airplane, sometimes I'll put it in my logbook that I had. You know, I had Wayne Gretzky on the airplane, or I had Walter Gretzky on the airplane, or I had you know so and so on the airplane. You know, um, and the last one that I've got here is Martin Brodeur, and uh, he's the first goalie they put on the label. And I heard that they were thinking about doing an all all goalie uh, thing because they would do four four um sets of bottles per year um and uh so I'm, I'm hoping they do i think that'd be really cool because i was a goalie as well uh all my hockey uh my career um hockey playing years and uh um yeah so that'd be really kind of cool the only two bottles that i'm missing from all of this lineup is Guy Lafleur and mark messier so uh, if anybody's got a line on any one of those, that'd be pretty awesome. But, uh, I, I know, uh, Guy could be, uh, a pretty tough one to get. So, and the last one I have here that, um, that Dr. Don has worked on is the Gooderham and Warts. Uh, this is a really, really, really nice, really, really exceptionally, uh, great, um, uh, whiskey. And this is the four grain one. I know he's got quite a few other ones out there, like the Eleven Souls. I would have loved to have tried that one, but I, I never, I never did get an opportunity to try that one, um, which is too bad because I heard really, really, really great things about that one. Um, so, um, and yeah, and that that uh, the Gooder Ham and Warts is is out of uh, is out of Windsor as well. Uh, looks like we're kind of um, uh, running out of room here. Um, but uh, I'll get the, the next lineup out. And this is from Wayne Gretzky. And, uh, and like I said, I've met Wayne a few times. A real nice guy. I met his dad. Had him on the airplane uh, a few times. And just a nice guy. Signed autographs for everybody. Signed, signed stuff for me. Um, um, and, uh, and, and his dad, Walter, was a, this is an unbelievably fantastic gentleman. Uh, really, really nice guy. But... Uh, this was the the first uh, Gretzky that I that I tried. Uh, my wife and son got me this uh, little kind of Christmas thing two years ago, and um, and and it came out you know at Christmas time and it had a little 375 milliliter bottle in it and a glass and a little hockey puck, which is like the um, like the ice um, rocks. Um, whiskey rocks but it's in the shape of a hockey puck and uh, uh, a buddy of mine was over and we were you know going through our tastings and stuff I think I've probably told the story before on, on another video and uh, we thought okay we're gonna try from least to best and kind of work our way up so we thought well, okay we'll start with kind of a um, with the with the Gretzky red cask and we'll work our way up to you know you know went through a couple really nice uh, Canadian whiskeys some really nice American bourbons and then went into some scotch and uh and that was kind of what we we did i think there was like five or six um drinks that we're kind of tasting that night and we all both of us knew that these were going to be really good but we didn't really think you know um we weren't too sure about the gretzky 
um, because it was cheaper and uh, we weren't sure about it but we thought okay this will be our starting point and then we'll go up but that was the surprise not only the surprise of the night but it was like easily the whiskey of the night this was amazing this this red cask it's it tastes like you're you're drinking like um cinnamon hearts you know those, those candied cinnamon hearts but they're not really sweet you know it's not that sickly sweet this is really 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 nice stuff so this is the, the last little bit that i have left of, of that little guy um so i had to go out and get a a big boy version of it uh, because this is really really exceptionally good stuff um yeah incredibly impressed with it and, and like i said very 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 surprised with the um with its quality like um we were we were quite blown away by how good it was um and and we shouldn't be because i mean um wayne's a, a brand that's on his own right so you've got to stand up for your brand and you've got to you know um yeah but what a great whiskey uh so after that i uh I went out and got some more uh, Wayne Gretzky uh, whiskey. So um, I got the ice cask, which is really, really, really nice. I did a full review on that one, which will be posted here at some point. I did a full review on all these, uh, on all the Gretzky stuff. And then there's the maple cask. And this maple cask is really nice. And it's not that sickly sweet maple stuff that sometimes you get in some some whiskeys you know it just tastes like plasticky waxy chemically whiskey uh maple this is not he uh takes his red cask i believe and then he um dumps that into um real uh, maple barrels um that he gets i believe in quebec and lets it sit in there for uh, i don't remember four months or something like that um and it's amazing absolutely amazing and this is brand new here. I haven't had a chance to try this one, so I'm really looking forward to this. But this is Wayne Gretzky's double cask. So, um, really, heard really great things about this one here. So I'm really kind of looking forward to, to trying this one. Um, and uh, I th think that is all for Wayne's. Um, and this one here I got. This is a Dylan's Rye. This one's out of Lincoln, Ontario. Really, really nice. I've had this before. And uh, and then I, um, they went on sale and then they went on to discontinued in Manitoba. So I, uh, I scored myself another bottle here because this was really, really, really nice. And uh, I'm just going to run over to the uh, to the cellar here real quick, and uh, just hang on one second. I just got to go and grab a few more uh, bottles for uh, a couple other things here. Be right back. All right, I'm back. Not sure if you could see what I've added uh, to it through the magic of uh, a video, but uh, this is Forty Creek out of Grimsby, Ontario, and uh, this here is the double barrel, and they used to be in. Uh, bottles like this, but um, this has become now a um, permanent resident in our um, uh, liquor commission. So uh, this is really, really, really nice stuff. And uh, these ones here are limited release ones, unfortunately. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll show you one that is not but it's in kind of a cool bottle anyway um there it is this is the confederation oak this one is a uh, permanent resident as well in our liquor commission really 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 nice um bottle and you can see they're all kind of individually numbered and everything like that uh, this is the victory this is the box that came in it's the only one that i got um, it came in a box, but this was for spirit release one year. And, uh, unfortunately these things are no longer, no longer made because the ears are really, really, really nice. So, um, because we can't get them anymore, I just haven't 
I haven't had the heart to drink them yet. I know I will at some point, but um, they were just so good. Uh, and uh, and I've tried every single solitary one of them. And uh, um, I managed, I was lucky enough to be able to um, score an extra one before they completely disappeared. So this is a resolve. This one, oh my God, this is one of my absolutely favorite. Um, uh, just it's a shame that you can't get this stuff anymore but uh, if you do find a bottle of resolve buy it doesn't matter what it costs just buy it it is really really good uh, this was last year's uh, spirit release this is the master's cut and it's a cast strength one uh, first cast strength for uh, uh, for 40 Creek here um, really really flavorful I was lucky enough to get two two of these guys here before they went the way of the dinosaur and um uh yeah this is my last one and this one here is for this year um i have had a sample of this with a friend um and we can still get this here in manitoba so i think i'm gonna go buy another bottle of it just so that i can have one to drink and one to kind of hold uh hold on to um for future um futures and uh this, this is the last one from uh, Ontario. This is Collingwood. Uh, and it is a, a first edition of a, a town thing that they're doing. So and this is out of Collingwood, Ontario. So um, I tried this at the liquor store and uh, it was really, really nice. So I figured I should probably uh, get a bottle to enjoy myself. Um, I have got to run back into the cellar and we're going to Manitoba here on the next one. So you know what that means. And, uh, and anybody that's been to Manitoba or, uh, or knows anything about Manitoba liquor, you know what, uh, what we have here and what we're famous for. So I'll be right back. All right. We are back fresh from the cellar. Uh, first one here, of course, it's Crown Royal that we have here, uh, in Winnipeg or in Gam Gimli, which is just North of Winnipeg. And uh, this is the salted caramel that comes out every every year for Christmas time. Um, it's really good to me. It's really too sweet. Uh, so maybe you know one you know one drink might be good uh, for me. But I have friends that um, will consume an entire bottle of it in, in, in believe it or not in an evening too. And uh, and they really 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 like the stuff. So. Uh, and they were the ones who introduced it to me and I thought well, this is actually really interesting. So um, So I thought I'd get a bottle and uh, Yeah, so um, But yeah, it only comes out at Christmas time. So uh, a Friend of mine bought this one here for me. This is the crown royal peach Haven't had this one yet. So kind of looking forward to that. I've heard some pretty good ways of mixing it, but I like to drink um, um, It you know, my drink's usually quite straight, you know. All right, so I've got a few more here. This one here has been uh, completely discontinued, and you can see the reason why. It's bourbon on it. Uh, bourbon can only be produced in the States, and uh, there's a lot of a lot of rules and regulations on on how you can what can be called bourbon and what cannot be called bourbon um, and uh, um, a Canadian whiskey <laughs> that is not anywhere near bourbon country and made in bourbon fashion this may have been made in a bourbon fashion I don't know I don't remember but uh, uh, it, it cannot be called bourbon so they uh, they had to change it uh, to a different name. I forget what it was called. Uh, they changed it to, but um, this is actually pretty, pretty good stuff. Uh, the next one here we got the Crown Royal XO, and uh, show you what this bottle looks like here quickly. Comes in a gray little bag, like the old. Crown Royals did, and um, this is it here. And I have had this, had had this actually a few times, and it is 
really, really, really nice. I was, um, I was actually really quite surprised how good it was. Um, uh, yeah, it kind of blew me out of the water how good this, uh, that, uh, that one was. I, I was not expecting it to tell you the truth. Um, but good for me, it, you know, it was, uh, it was, it was that good and I was able to, to, uh, to get a bottle of it on my own, uh, for, for the seller. So, um, yeah, and this one here is the Crown Royal Reserve. Um, I know I'm, I'm on part of this Crown Royal, um, uh, thing on Facebook here and there are uh, I didn't realize there were so many fans of Crown Royal out there. It's crazy. There's people all over the world that collect this stuff. And I mean really collect this stuff. And uh, and there's a lot of uh, um, Americans who, who absolutely love this that, uh, that that buy the stuff up like crazy and they've they've got like like a little museums in their in their cellars and their houses for uh, for this Canadian whiskey. It's it's quite crazy. But this is really nice stuff, though. You know, you get into the higher, the higher end Crown Royal, and it's um, it's uh, it's pretty good stuff. Uh, let's see what else. So we have the Crown Royal Limited. And then we've got this guy here, I'm sure you well, every, pretty much everybody has seen this one here. This is the 18 year old uh, Crown Royal. I'll open it up here for you as well to show you, show you it. It's kind of a little magnet and this is what the uh, label and the box and everything like that uh, looks like. comes in in a little purple purple bag and uh, and this is the the bottle itself I'm sure you've all all seen this here before but thought I would show it to you and uh, since this has come out in uh, it, it has gone up incredibly like it's uh, you could like they, they made very limited of it to begin with and it sold out almost immediately and people were um, lined up for it and uh people kind of i wouldn't say fighting because nobody really fights but um really competing um over over these bottles and um uh, other guys i guess um not being very happy with other people that would buy you know four or five of these bottles at once when uh, they were quite rare at the time and i think they still are but i know crown royal has um has uh has re-released uh, some of the stuff again not sure if it's the same same stuff they have in it or if it's a different uh, from a different year that they put in for the age statement but uh, it has gone up dramatically since uh, since I bought it by almost fifty dollars a, a box so um, that's crazy and this one here uh, this came out for our spirit release two years ago and uh, this sold out um, I think a day and a half this was gone. Um, in most of the liquor stores, it was gone in um, a matter of minutes. And I've had this this bottle um, before. I, I was only able to get one um, because I, I thought, well, you know, it was uh, it wasn't cheap, but it wasn't expensive. But I thought, well, there's others that I wanted on that spirit release. That's the same one that people were clapping at me about. I was an idiot there, um, and. Uh, um, so I thought, well, I'll just come back and, and get another one. Oh, they were gone, completely gone. And now I regret uh, not getting two when I could have had a chance to have gotten two. Uh, but this is, this is incredible, like absolutely incredible. Um, uh, one of the guys I was there with, he ended up buying two bottles of it because he's a lot smarter than I am, obviously. And he's gone through probably three quarters of one and, uh, um, you know that's how I've tried that and it is amazing and he, he keeps that there for when he has friends come over uh, to give them something really kind of special and it is that this is this winter wheat is a very very special bottle um, so we are done in Manitoba 
uh, we're going to Alberta next. So I just got to run to uh, to the cellar and I'll be right back uh, with some stuff from Alberta. This table is getting full. I think I've got, what's wrong with me? I've got so much, too much stuff here. Anyway, uh, I'll be right back. All right, I am back. God, this is going to be a long video. Um, anyway, this is Bareface. This comes out of Kelowna. Um, wine country. I've been to Kelowna many, many times. I've shot a lot, quite a few weddings out there. Um, been out there on many wine tours. I'd love to do um, more weddings out there and go out on, on more of these wine tours. Um, maybe, maybe sometime real soon. But this is where this guy comes from. And I'd love to do a distillery uh, tour out there sometime too. So maybe through this channel, um, maybe we can make it happen. I think that'd be really kind of cool. Uh, and that is a really nice, uh, really nice jam. I was talking to the Bareface guys one time about a year ago and um, came up with uh, a couple cool ideas for some of their labels. And because we're, they were talking about stuff and they were like, uh, one of the guys was like, um, you've read our, like, are, are you reading our mind? Like what's going on here? And he was kind of making a joke and sure enough, um, they were doing something very similar to what I had kind of mentioned that would be a really cool idea. Um, so, uh, um, yeah, I can't wait to see what, the, what, the, what these guys are doing, uh, going to do next. Um, so I'm going to go and grab, Here is another one from Bareface. Like I said, they're always coming up with the coolest things here. Uh, and this one here is the Wilderness Series. And I uh, just absolutely love these guys. Um, so maybe someday we might even get a chance to work together. I'd like, I'd really, really like that a lot. Um, my buddy and I, we were out on, um, on a, uh, a whiskey adventure um, uh, last year and we kind of went all over the place and um, and it was a lot of fun so that we got to do that again and we're actually talking about going down doing the bourbon trail at one point but um, we were at the um, uh, the Eau Claire distillery which is um, in in Alberta in the Turner Valley and I used to live out in a place called Okotoks I was doing some flying uh, I flew in Navajo out there for uh, company called Air Alberta. I don't think they exist anymore, but I was doing, you know, a lot of corporate trips up, uh, up and down uh, through uh, Calgary and then taking them up to the oil patches and places like that. Um, so it was really kind of cool to go back and kind of look around and see how things changed. And boy, if things ever changed out there uh, since I was last out there. But this is one of the bottles I got. I got two bottles from them. And this is the Rupert's Whiskey. And Rupert is like a, uh, a moose. Um, and this is their limited edition uh, label. Same stuff in it, just a different label. And I'm a big Flames fan. And I became a really big Flames fan when I was living in Calgary, uh, flying out of there. And uh, so you got to support your team, eh? Uh, sorry, Jets, but uh, I like the Flames. And the other one I got uh, from them is this. And this is incredible. If you get a chance to get this bottle, um, get the number two or the number five. And I've tried, I did a flight of all of them. Uh, and the two and the five taste very similar. And this is exactly, this is a single malt whiskey. This tastes like a, a massively high end single malt scotch. So if you can get a chance, I know BSW uh, sells this in Calgary. Uh, you can order it online, but you can also order it right from uh, the distillery itself. And it is absolutely amazing this this is incredible and uh and very uh, uh limited uh as well so if you get your hands on that one do yourself a favor and just do it it's uh, really really nice stuff uh next one we've got here this this is the caribou crossing um very very cool looking uh, box and packaging it's uh, Canada's only single, um, single barrel uh, whiskey, and uh, I'm gonna open this here without buggering it up too much. It's kind of a pain in the butt to put back once you've got it opened, um, and you'll see why here in a second if I if I can get it open without destroying it. Here we go. 
All right. So kind of kind of like a cross between two two things. So uh, packaging wise, kind of like Crown Royal, and then kind of like. Um, Oh, it's such a tight-fitting little bag it got on it. And kind of like Blanton's here with the caribou on it. But I think it's a lot cooler than Blanton's. Um, it's got a caribou on it. And uh, when I lived uh, lived up in the Arctic, uh, and even just flying in around there, sometimes you'd see thousands and thousands of caribou. Um, they would sometimes come through town, and it would take almost a week for the herd to go through. There were so many of them. And it would be... Um, just the sound of that thunder just going through with tens of thousands, if not over a hundred thousand caribou uh, coming through town. It was uh, up in the Arctic. It was really cool. But you could see here, this is the, the Blantons, which is really interesting too. I like, I like the Blantons, but I really do like this caribou crossing. Um, but this is an incredible, incredible bottle. If you ever get a chance to get yourself one of these, do it. Uh, and each time you, you try it, each bottle, it's chances are it's going to be a little different. And I'll show you the bottle here too, um, because it's a single bot, a single barrel. So if it comes out of a new barrel, it's going to have a little different taste to it. So no two barrels taste exactly alike. They taste very similar, but no two taste exactly alike. Um, that's a really kind of cool thing about about uh, Caribou Crossing. So I'll just leave that open there because it's a bit of a process to put it back. So I got these two guys here. This was from uh, two years ago. Spirit release. This is the Cast Strength Alberta Premium at 63.7%. And both bottles look exactly, exactly the same. So I'll just open up the one. All it has is just a different number on it for the percentage of it. But um, yeah, I think this was voted Whiskey of the Year uh, in that particular year. But this is a really, really, really nice, really nice uh, uh, whiskey. Um, if, you get a if you ever get a chance to, to try it, definitely do. Uh, and then this is the uh, um, this year's one here. So you can see this is 63.5 and that's 63.7. So that's the Alberta uh, Premium. Um, and I've got one more here from Alberta. And then I think I've got just a few more from BC. And the Alberta one, it was bottled and distilled in Alberta and then went to Newfoundland for um, bottling. And uh, I'll just run and grab it here real quick. And I used to have these guys on the airplane like all the time. Like all the time I'd see them. Um, sometimes, um, you know, four, five, six, seven times a month. And it was always either Ricky, Julian, and Bubbles, or Randy and Leahy. This is the Trailer Park Boys, uh, Liquorman, uh, the old, dirty Canadian whiskey. And believe it or not, this is actually pretty good stuff. And, uh, um, my brother actually got one of these bottles, uh, signed for me by Pat, who plays, um, Randy. Uh, on the show and he says this is these bottles are getting re really hard to find um, so uh, um, Yeah, I didn't think they would be but we can't get them here in Manitoba my brother got them for me uh, out in Ontario and uh, And uh, I said could you get one of these signed because I knew he was going to some hockey uh, signing thing there and uh, He said yeah for sure. Yeah, Pat's gonna be there uh, Pat Roach and uh, who plays Randy and uh, yeah, and sure enough uh, told told pat about you know you know how he kind of knows me a little bit and he's like oh yeah yeah that's really cool yeah i, I totally uh, totally kind of remember him and and because i remember sitting in the back of the airplane with him and and uh, uh jim uh, well, jim, not jim but john uh, jim Leahy. Uh, but, um uh and uh so yeah so there's pat and john and i in the back and uh, they were telling me all about the movie that was coming out before it was out and it was really kind of a cool trip uh, from Winnipeg to Toronto. Um, I'll show you these two ones here too real quickly because these come out of Alberta but they're the grain is produced in Alberta but then it's bottled in the States but this is a whistle pig so it's kind of a half Canadian I guess. Um, 
uh, whiskey. But this is really nice stuff. I really, really like that. I was able to get that one at BSW. And this one here, this is the six-year-old. This is now a permanent resident at the Liquor Commission for, for now, until things change. But uh, yeah, this one's really nice too. I've had, this is my second, second bottle. Um, geez, I'm running out of room here. But I think I've got enough for the last few bottles. So we're going to BC and I'll be right, right back. All right, we're almost done here, guys. Just uh, really appreciate you guys hanging out here. This is going to be almost an hour long. God dang it. Sorry about that. Uh, I might have to do this in two parts, but we'll see. Uh, it might be kind of fun. Sometimes I like watching longer longer shows if I've got, kind of got nothing to do and it's just kind of sitting in the background. So you might enjoy that too. I don't know. We'll see. But my little brother, Kurt, uh, out in Vernon, BC, who sells cars and who's culinary Kurt, uh, and he kind of talks like this, so you know, just want to buy a car, I'll make you some cookies. Uh, he brought me this, and this is right out of Vernon, uh, BC, and it is actually uh, an award-winning um, uh, whiskey. So, thanks, Kurt. <coughs> uh, these two guys here, um, they are both out of... Um, uh, where is this guy from... I believe this is out of Victoria and uh, these are shelter points. This came out for a spirit release uh, two years ago and uh, made specifically for the Manitoba um, Liquor Commission. So this is really nice. Uh, this is my second bottle of this and uh, yeah, it was really, 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 really nice. Um, uh, uh, whiskey and then this one here um, they discontinued this for some crazy reason because this is really 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 good and um, um, so I ended up buying a bottle and as soon as they put it on discontinued it sold out immediately so um, Manitobans are, are really known for looking for deals and uh, like really known for looking for deals so when there's a deal uh, it sells out pretty fast. And this is the last two that I have here from Canada. Um, this is the out of Campbell River. This is the um, Calad... Um, what, how do you pronounce it? The uh, Macanelli Caledonian, whatever. But uh, yeah, this is nice. I, I've had the... Uh, uh, I've tried these in the... Um, at the liquor store and it was uh it was amazing and this last one here um this is actually um he says um that this is your uh, limited edition rare bottle collector's edition kind of thing because um there was a big um hoofla there uh with uh with this company and and um the scotland the entire country of Scotland and the Scottish um, um, uh, industry of, of scotch. Um, I guess they didn't like the way he was doing um, uh, the way he was doing his, his stuff for um, uh, advertising it and uh, they said it sounded too much like you were pretending you're from Scotland but it's not scotch and it's not from Scotland you're from Canada and he's like no and using my name you know on one of the for one reason and I'm kind of honoring Scotland uh, for another one but he had to change it to Island single malt uh, whiskey but the um, uh, but there's parts in here you can see that um, he, uh, he had to change and uh, so it had to uh, it, everything had to be rebranded everything had to be really changed and everything but these are really 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 incredible um whiskeys so if you get ever get a chance to try those definitely 100 percent do so that is everything that i have from canada uh so far i'm sure there's gonna be lots more to come but i'll show you those um as i get them we won't be doing this insanity again um but uh, i really appreciate all those who <laughs> have uh watched through this crazy video and have spent probably a good hour uh, watching this now um, but like I said sometimes I really like these you know I'll watch a YouTube channel and, and um, you know I'll just kind of another ones I just want to get done in 10 minutes um, 
So I've got some of those as well. But uh, yeah, anyway, I really appreciate you guys watching, watching this, tuning in, uh, seeing what I've got. If you've got any questions about absolutely anything or something here that you would think that I would like to, to try uh, or you'd like to see, uh, try and learn a little bit more about them, uh, let me know and uh, we can see what we can do. There's probably a few here that I might may or may not open right away just uh, uh, because, but uh, but for the most part, everything is, is, is fair game. Um, but uh, yeah, there's going to be lots more to come here on this channel, everyone. Um, and I really, truly appreciate uh, you guys uh, watching, subscribing to this channel and uh, have yourself a really, really great day. And uh, thanks again for everything. Um, take care. Bye-bye.